What's up everyone, Tina here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create interactive WhatsApp templates. An interactive template looks like this and consists of different interactive call to action buttons. For example, you can request a customer to click quick reply. You can offer them to click the button and be forwarded to your website or to any other specific custom link. You can give them the option to click a button and call you immediately. They can click the button and copy an offer code or simply opt out from your marketing messages. The quick reply option becomes really handy if you do sell by chat, for example, and you pre-drafted the replies the user can select from so they don't have to type anything they just click on the pre-drafted messages which you have set up prior this one option for example really enhances the conversation flow between you and your potential customer which again in return will increase your conversion rate the easier you make it for the potential customer to interact with you meaning you're taking away a lot of work for them i mean typing a text is more work than just clicking a few buttons right it's the same concept when you collect email addresses with an opt-in form the more information you ask from the people, the less opt-ins you will have. But for example, if you only ask for the email address as the only field in your opt-in form, your conversion rate collecting those leads will increase. So that's the same concept here. If people have the option to click a few buttons, they will do that instead of typing a message. So let me show you how you can set this up. All right, first we want to click on settings at the bottom left and then select WhatsApp on the left as well. Then we want to select templates and click create new template. And here you can see our template builder. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see our new feature, the buttons are right here. In order to add those buttons, as you can see, the create button is grayed out. We just have to create a template real quick. So let's start at the top, give it a name real quick, select your category, we keep it at marketing. We're gonna select our language. And by the way, in case you didn't know, you can turn on and off header images or header videos, documents, and even you can add a location. This comes in really handy if you're running a live event, for example, for whatever last minute, you need to change the location. You can just send the broadcast via WhatsApp and share the new location, which is amazing. For now, let's select image. Let's upload an image. Beautiful. And on the right hand side here, you can see our preview of the template that we're just building right now. Let's scroll down and down here, you can add your body text. In this case, let's send out a quick promotion to give out free dog scarves, for example, in return for a social media post. So the call to action here is, are you interested? It leaves an open loop. It leaves an open question so that we can set up the quick replies in a minute connected to a button, which I will show you in a minute. Before I do that, please note, you can also format your text here. You can make it bold, italic, strike through, or even monospace. Monospace means you can add code snippets or other text, which then stays in a fixed width font. We're going to keep it for now. Scroll down. You can add a footer, which is optional. So let's say thanks and let's create some buttons. Click add button. And here you can see you can add 10 different custom buttons. These, for example, can be the quick replies like, yes, I'm interested. No, I'm not interested or whatever else your heart desires. A marketing opt-out button for sure. Add one of those because maybe people don't want to receive your marketing messages. And if they don't have an option to unsubscribe from your promotion broadcasts, all they got to do is just mark you as spam, which puts you in a bad light with Meta and you have to go through all different verifications and loops. And yeah, in reality, it's just spammy not to give people the opt out option. Further down, we can add two buttons, which will lead people to a website, to a URL. We can add a button that lets them call you immediately. So if you don't have a WhatsApp number yet, or if you don't have a phone number yet, go ahead and purchase that. And you can also offer a discount code. This code needs to be created prior under payments and then codes. But this is really cool if you want to run promotions and it's Christmas or it's Black Friday or it's the end of the month and you want to run a quick promotion to increase the revenue, you just say, hey, 24 hour sales on our dog scarves. Here is the code 50% off, copy it and then they can just add it to their checkout page. So let's start with custom. And here on the right, you can see, as I said, are you interested? The quick reply could be, so change the button text from quick reply to, yes, I'm interested. Or, no, I'm not interested. So let's add another button. Let's select custom again and let's change the text to, no, I am not interested. Beautiful. Here on the right, you can see those two options are showing up. Let's add another button. Let's add our visit website button. In case you didn't want to add the visit website button, you can just click the drop down menu here and then select phone number or copy of a code. You can go ahead and change the button text right here. Let's keep the URL at static and let's send them to our website. Let's add another button. Let's say we want to add call this particular phone number. Click and then you can change the button text again. I would change it to call me or call us. Then you have to add your phone number. Again, if you don't have one yet, go ahead and purchase one. Then let's add another button and let's select the copy offer code this time. In this case, you cannot change the button text, but here you can add your offer code. Let's say it's 50 
50% off. All right, so now we have added all the buttons possible. Let's hit create. Amazing, now the template has been successfully created and is pending approval by Meta. If we just refresh the page right now, you can see that this has already been approved. Amazing, here we go. You can see that this template has now been approved. Now let's go ahead and send this template so you can see how that looks in real life. Now here we are in the conversations tab and with this customer, we have already an ongoing WhatsApp thread going. To send the template, make sure you select WhatsApp at the bottom, click on insert template, select your template in the drop down menu right here, click use template. Now you can see it pulled the image, it pulled the body and it pulled the footer as well. So let's hit send. Beautiful. And here you can see the WhatsApp message has been sent exactly the way we've set it up. Here's the image, here's the body text, here's the footer and here are all our buttons. Now let me show you how that looks like from a user perspective. And you can see the conversation, the image, the body text as well as the buttons. But you can't see all the options because the display is kind of small on the phone. So you can just click see all options, which then opens up another small window and then you can see all the options. So you can copy the offer code, you can call us, you can visit our website, or you can say, yes, I'm interested or I'm not interested. Let's just say, yes, I'm interested. Let's go back to the back end. And here you can see the reply from the customer. Yes, I'm interested. Amazing. This is how easy you can set up interactive buttons inside of your WhatsApp templates. I hope you will like this new feature. And now I encourage you to go ahead, play around with it a little bit, and maybe send your first WhatsApp campaign, including those interactive buttons and see how it goes. I will see you in the next video.